Well, viewers, on Tuesday, Turkey's central bank became the very latest emerging market to loosen monetary policy. It actually cut interest rates by 50 basis points. Well, on this topic today, I'm joined by Shev Nikinzi, an economist and founder of Akinzi Economics Consulting in Istanbul. Well, Shivan, many were not actually expecting such a big cut. Now, was this also a surprise for you? The surprise was mainly about the magnitude of the of the interest rate cut. Many people were expecting, including us, were expecting a rate cut. However, uh, you know, if you put it on a percentage, seventy-five percent were expecting twenty-five basis point rate cut, both in the policy rate and in the two bounds of the interest rate corridor. Uh, but it came 50 basis points. Some were expecting 50 basis points. Uh, we were a little bit cautious. That's why we said 25 basis points and the others. Uh, because the, the economic environment in all over the world is not very uh, clear right now. We are in a very uncertain, we still in our uncertain conditions. So, uh, 50 basis points was high. However, uh, when I see the market moves right now, I am seeing that it was the right move, which was taken by the Central Bank of Turkey, because the lira is still not at the level that we or they were expecting. The lira is still at uh, 179.50 against the uh, dollar. Um, I mean, the parity, US dollar, Turkish dollar parity is 179.50. Uh, we were expecting it will weaken further, like 180 or so, but this did not happen, mainly because of the foreign capital inflows right now in the, in the bar towards emerging markets. This debate point happened mainly, that's, I understand, Statue Bank has no concern about the growth rate right now in, in Turkey rather than inflation. They are more comfortable with the inflation uh, for the first half of this year. And investor sentiment is becoming increasingly more bullish for Turkey. Can you tell me your thoughts on this? Uh, yes. People become more bullish because of two reasons. One is the politic developments, uh, the developments on the policy side. Um, yes, they are talking some progress uh, between Turkish and uh, on the peace between Turkish and Kurdish uh, society. And uh, on the other side, ma macroeconomic figures are doing well for the recent years. And also Moody's and Stanley Pools recently increased Turkey's uh, credit rating, just uh, one notch below in the seventh grade. And people are expecting another rating uh, upgrade uh, from Moody's. So these are keeping uh, positive sentiment towards Turkey, I think. And they are right about it. However, I think they should be quite cautious because we are talking about the peace progress here. But uh, nobody knows what will happen between the PKK and the government uh, alongside the, ro the road until the end of the year. Uh, yes, um, there was a uh, there was a um, um, statement uh, from from uh, top level people from the PKK from the Kurdish side. However, um, it's we have to see the the action there, not about the, the talks, you know. We have to see, you know, some developments, some actions, so that Moody's will upgrade Turkey's investment grade, so that, of course, there will be more investment flow uh, to the country after this. But people will, are still cautious, I think. Yes, there is some uh, inclination, however, they will stay a little bit cautious. Until the until this uh, concrete um, development on the politics and uh, um, a certain from it is that they are uh, they are upgrading Turkey to investment grade. And in terms of the lira, how is it performing at the moment, and what is currently having an impact on this against the U.S. and Euro counterparts? Well, Euro Euro dollar parity is another story, but in terms of the 
Die Tutzung für Lira. Ähm, ja, the Central Bank tries to keep the volatility of Turkish Lira intact. When I look at, uh, when I compare Turkish Lira with other emerging market countries' currencies, I saw that Turkish Lira stayed quite, uh, f um, the volatility, uh, was taken under, under control in the last, in the last year, if you, if you compare it with other emerging countries. This is the, I think this is the success of the Central Bank of Turkey. That's why they are trying to do right now. They keep the volatility intact. So it remained between one, it will remain between 178, 182 against dollar. And, um, against euro, it will, um, it will, um, be related to the euro dollar parity. In, and of course the development on the ECB side. For the for a range, if you want me to do the range uh, for the next six months, I would say Turkshira will trade within 178, 185 range. It's not a big range, but it will be CBT Central Bank will try to contain the volatility and I think uh, they are very good on Doing this using many, many uh, monetary policy tools, not only interest post interest rate, but for example, interest rate corridor, a reserve option mechanism, or reserve requirement ratio. With all these tools, they are trying to contain the volatility in the, in the domestic currency. And finally, let's have a closer look at growth. So, what are we seeing and what are your growth forecasts? Um, the growth rate should be watched very closely. I understand the, um, the policymakers and uh, the politicians care more about the growth rate now in Turkey because 2.2% growth rate in 2012, last year, uh, was found quite low by the politicians and the Minister of Economics. So there was some, there was some, uh, um, they try to persuade the Central Bank of Turkey to lower the interest rate for this reason. So we should watch growth rate. Uh, uh, for sure, the first quarter growth rate will be lower than people expect because interest rate production data came out very really low. Uh, but for the whole year, the expectation is 4%. There is no reason uh, for not reaching on this. I think 4% is reachable, but uh, first quarter growth rates will create some uh, disappointment, uh, both because of the unfavorable base effect and industrial production data we saw. Uh, but in the second, third, and fourth quarter, if, you know, better spot, if the, there is no uh, uh, Unexpected event or something in the in the developed markets or in the emerging markets, four percent is reachable for this year. Current account deficit will not be um, the current account deficit is trying to be contained by the Central Bank of Turkey, of course. Of course, they are the Central Bank of Turkey target is five percent growth rate, five percent inflation, and five percent current account deficit. Um, this is a very um, ambitious um, target. Uh, it's not reachable. However, it's good that they are targeting this and they um, put policies uh, targeting these figures. Thank you very much for this interview today. Well, viewers, do stay tuned to Dukascopy TV for more Forex updates and analysis. But for now, have a great day.